Grandpa Doofus? Grandpa Doofus, we love you even if you are just a little bit strange. You just keep going, Grandpa. We love you. Hello there, boys and girls. Doofus Dingo here, Mega Genius. How are you today? Are you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed? Can you see clearly now that the rain has gone? Or are you in a deep brain fog because of your denial tea? Well, don't let those little brain cells coast down too far, you know. Once they stop, well, it's all over for you. Did you see that lightning strike there at the Pope's place right after he resigned? Did you know that lightning struck there twice? Did it bring to mind any phrases in the good book? You know, like when the Creator said he beheld Satan fall as lightning or something like that? Do you suppose that was a sign that the end is now here? Could it be, boys and girls? Is it possible that the clock has now run out? Yeah, it's possible. I don't know for sure, but it's possible. You know, maybe the hourglass sand is all but run through. That our civilization is now about to change forever. Are you ready for it? The numbers there were also rather interesting to those who know the mathematics of things. Like 265 popes, which of course if you add the numbers up is 13. And the pope is 85, and if you add that up, that's 13. And then, of course, the date he will actually resign, you know, 228, 2013. And if you add those numbers up, it comes to 18, or 6 plus 6 plus 6. But then all of that might just be coincidence, maybe, do you think? Well, who knows? And then, of course, he resigned on the 11th day. And did you know that 11 means confusion and disintegration and ruin? Do you suppose that just maybe all of this was by design? That something is being told us, boys and girls? And did you see that article that scientists now think we actually are living in some sort of a matrix? Some sort of a computer holographic system of some type? One might want to ask, well, who built the computer? You know, who designed the matrix? Who made this game of life? Have you ever stopped long enough to ever ask yourself why you're here? What the real purpose of your life really is? Have you now? Or did you think that because people have been asking that question for eons and never got any answers, that you just gave it up and decided there was no answer, and decided just to party through life as best you could, did you? Well. Doofus here, we will give you some hints. I hope you will take them to heart in view of what is soon to come upon our earth. So here we go, boys and girls. Hint number one. The good book that few actually study tells us that mankind is a fallen creature and as such actually has some sort of a veil over their minds. You know, like a curtain. And science tells us we only use about 10% of our, our actual capacity. Think about that. What about the other 90%? In other words, this veil blinds us to our actual truth of our actual reality. Do you think that's possible? So that we stumble through our lives without really understanding what the game of life really is? and why it is, and what we are actually here for, and that we go through life full of tears and crying, and we have some good days, we have bad days, and then we have some real bad days, too. Isn't that right? Yeah, I think it is, if you'd look around, and then we have wars and rumors of wars and fighting and all that sort of stuff as well. Hint number two, though, do you really want to know why you are here? Well, the answer really is very simple, and it's very profound, and it's not easy to solve. But Doofus searched it out and found out something really stunning. We are here for only one purpose, and that's to find our Creator, to search Him out with all due diligence, 
to find him, for he tells us in the good book in many, many places that even though we are fallen and blind and naked and walk in total spiritual darkness, that he really does love us with such a great love there are no words to describe it. And all he wants us to do is stop playing the stupid game we call life and the busy, busy stuff we do each and every day and try with all of our heart, souls, and mind and strength to find him. You know, get that veil lifted so we could see the other side and know what's really going on. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? And you know, there was a very smart fellow who told a story I remember long ago on the Art Bell Show some time back about an ant farm. There was this ant there who saw the owner of the ant farm walk by. So he hailed him and he shouted to him, What's going on? Well, the owner stopped for a moment, startled at the wee small voice. What? he asked the ant. What's going on? the ant cried out again. Well, you would not understand, the owner said. It's a big world out there, way above yours totally different than anything you have ever known or ever seen. So there's no point in my telling you. You would not ever understand. Well, the owner of the ant farm walked away, and this poor little ant was beside himself with the answer. He did not know what to do or say, so he went back to his nest. And he thought to himself, we must be just some sort of an experiment or something. We'll never know. Of course, in the story, we are the ants, and the owner is the creator. But instead of the poor ant being told nothing, we actually have a good book that tells us everything about the big world out there. And he told us how to find it and how to search it out. So will you do it, boys and girls? If you will, the reward is eternal life. Well, and if you won't... Well, the big red sign's always waiting for you. All is vanity. You lost. Well, boys and girls, this is Doofus Dingle now, signing off. Hope you have a great day. Hope you roust your brain cells and begin to think about what I just told you. And you know, <clears throat> let it rumble around in those caverns of your mind a little or a lot. Your choice. Hope to see you again now. Bye-bye. There you go again! I can't stand it anymore! You quit telling the truth! Give me some lies! Tell me some lies so I can sleep at night!